What's up everyone? It's the Tyrant here. Welcome back to my Halo Q&As where you ask the questions and I give you the answers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a good mood today. Summer's winding down to a close and the crisp scent of fall is now lingering in the air. Fall is my favorite season. You guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite season is and why. So we got a lot of great questions this week. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first question comes from Mr. Valkorion. And Mr. Valkorion asks, Tyrant Q&A, people seem to think the Arbiter will be in Halo Infinite's campaign one way or another. How do you think he'll be incorporated? Also, I'd seen theories about how the Didact could be making a return. What are your thoughts or opinions on that? Sorry for the long read. As always, stay safe and keep the content coming. Well, thank you, my friend. So, to address this, this is a two-part question. It would not surprise me to see the Arbiter return, because he was in Halo 5's ending. And it seems like if anyone had any intel on the Banished, which is going to be the main enemy in Halo Infinite, it would be the Arbiter. So, I don't know if he's going to actually be uh, with us during the campaign in terms of, like, combat. I certainly hope so. Uh, definitely more than in Halo 5. But, yeah, I think he, he's going to be a source of valuable intel for the Master Chief. In terms of the Didact making return, you know, I used to think that that was a possibility. You know, he was composed, and so it's entirely possible that he's an AI lingering around there somewhere. But I think we're not going to be seeing the Didact anymore. I think that he was very unceremoniously taken off the counter in the Halo comics. So, that it, as sad as that is... Uh, as much as I'd love to see the Didact make a return, I don't think we will. But the Arbiter is a strong possibility. So thank you for stopping by, my friend. That is an excellent question. Our next question comes from Seafunk99. And Seafunk asks, Q&A, if Halo Infinite gets a legendary ending, would you rather be goofy or have it blow your mind? This is a tough question because we don't know a lot about the structure of Halo Infinite's campaign yet. We know that they want to make this last for 10 years, and for me, that means that there will be additions to the campaign. I don't know if it's going to be in the form of, like, expansions similar to Halo 3 ODST, or if they're just going to add new missions, or, or what that's going to be. And so having a legendary ending would be complicated if that's the plan, and I think it is going forward. If, if I had to pick a legendary ending, I don't want it to be something that's going to tease another Halo game. I like some closure uh, in the current story arc here. So I would be fine with it being goofy, kind of like in Halo Combat Evolved where you see Sergeant Johnson uh, playing tug of war with an assault rifle with an elite. I thought that was pretty awesome. Uh, but we haven't really had a goofy legendary ending since then, so I'd, I'd be fine with either one, but you guys let me know in the comments below what you think. What kind of legendary ending would you like to see, and should it have one? Our next question comes from Jacob Stubbs, and Jacob asks, Q&A Tyrant, I think it's safe to say we'll definitely be able to visit other places in Halo Infinite. That being said, what places would you like to visit in the story? Well, aside from the Halo ring, one of the things I'm sort of hoping for if they're going to do ex extended campaigns or expanded campaigns is we get to visit other colonies and maybe actually visit it during the Covenant Human War. You know, prior to the Flood outbreak and uh, the Master Chief's initial story arc. I'd love to see uh, maybe going back to Reach. Uh, other colonies for sure. Maybe other Halo installations? That would be awesome. And maybe other Forerunner installations aside from Halo rings. Maybe even Return to the Ark. I think that would be an excellent thing. Maybe we can find out what happened between the battle uh, between the Spirit of Fire and the Banished. I think that would be a really, really cool thing to see. And Because I, I, I don't want that story to be wrapped up in the comics or extended lore. So I, I definitely would like to see that in Halo Infinite. And again, with the 10-year time span, they have room for it. So that's what I would like to see personally. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you would like to see in Halo Infinite's campaign. What places would you like to visit? Our next question comes from E Productions. And E Productions asks, Q&A, what parts of 343's Halo do you think should be a part of the official, official package? Mine is Custom Games Browser and Halo 5 Forge. I also want a better version of Spartan Arms. What do you think, Tyrant? 
Well, I'm not sure I understand the question. Is this a package for Halo Infinite, or is this a package for just 343's Halo in general? If it's if it's for Halo in general, in terms of what they've really done right, in my opinion, uh, I, you, you hit the nail on the head there. I definitely think Halo 5 Forge is phenomenal. And I'd love to see that expanded upon. In terms of Spartan Ops, not really sure about that, just because I've always considered it to be sort of a firefight with a plot to it. And it's okay, but I actually like Halo 5's firefight better than Spartan Ops. That's not to say that... Uh, that's not to say that I think that Halo 5's firefight is the best firefight ever or anything like that. Obviously, Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach were fantastic examples of firefight but i enjoyed halo 5's firefight more than spartan ops just for that reason and it, the plot was disappointing in the sense that it really didn't have much of an ending to it you know we killed jewel Dama in the first mission in halo 5 and that's it that's our resolution right there so spartan ops was a little bit of a disappointment to me i thought they were gonna have a second season to it maybe they didn't because it wasn't received very well i'm not sure but one thing is for sure I definitely would love to see Firefight in Halo Infinite. And that brings us to our next question from Derek Stegall. Q&A, do you think that Infinite will have Firefight? And if so, do you think it should play? How do you think it should play? To me, I think it should start out smaller, but the more you complete, the larger the scale of it becomes. Some examples are more vehicles, expanding the map more, and even friendly reinforcements like Marines, ODSTs, and vehicles. That's an interesting concept right there. Now, I, I will tell you this. I love all three variants of Firefight, but my favorite experience of Firefight that I've seen so far is the map Installation 04 on Halo Reach, because as you pointed out, having friendly reinforcements, you actually did get friendly reinforcements in that map, and it was the only Firefight map in which you really ever got reinforcements. And to me, that really ups the experience. It make, creates a scale or creates a sense of scale in terms of having larger battles. So for the next round of firefight, I definitely want to see friendly reinforcements be a staple in that particular setup. Now, in terms of what kind of firefight, I want to see a mix because as I said earlier, I really do appreciate Halo 5's take on firefight. I love the fact that you can have eight players and that they're objectives. And that that to me is, is fun. I, I like that. Now, I also want the option to have firefight like Halo, Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach where you're just fighting endless waves of Covenant, or in this case, the Banished. And maybe even the Flood, for all we know. To me, having all the variants there would make much more sense, because there are a lot of people who didn't come into the fray until, until Halo 5, and so for them, it would be kind of jarring just to go back and nix that all together. So, hopefully they'll incorporate all three. Well, I should say two, because really Reach is just an expanded version of Halo 3 ODSTs. And, um, Halo 5 is, is firefight with objectives. Kind of like Spartan Ops, but not Spartan Ops. So, to me, that's what I'd like to see. You guys let me know in the comments below what your ideal firefight experience for Halo Infinite would be like. I definitely want to see it return in some shape or form. I like your idea. Uh, hopefully they'll find a way to incorporate that as well. I'd like to see an expanded firefight experience for Halo Infinite. So that's an excellent question, Derek, and thank you for stopping by. And our final question of the week, our star question comes from Alien King 1970. And my good friend and brother Alien King asks, Hey MT, how do you feel about Joe Staten returning to Halo? Does this mean a return to greatness with Infinite? Oh, this is an excellent question. So this is, I'm going to give you a multi-part answer here. First of all, the first time I even knew who Joe Staten was, uh, was for the E3 2004 two, Halo 2 demo, where he referred to the energy sword as an anti-son-of-a-bitch stick. That was hilarious to me, and instantly he became a winner in my heart. Now, in terms of him coming back to the Halo universe... This is excellent news just because he's such a fantastic writer. He's always been a, had a heavy tap into the Halo universe. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. He's always tapped into the Halo universe like no one else possibly could. And heck, if they're bringing him back, why not Marty O'Donnell? 
I mean, that's our two legends right there. Now, what does this mean? I don't know yet, because here's, here's the problem. I was so under the impression that Halo Infinite was so almost done. Because they originally set it to release for holiday of 2020, which is this year, and it's only a few months away. And you would think that if the game is that close to release, then there really wouldn't be much more to add to it than that. So I'm really curious as to how Joseph Staten returning is going to affect the overall Halo experience. Now, here's my theory. Bear with me on this. I don't think he's going to have much of an effect on the core campaign. And the reason I say this is because I think the core campaign is mostly done. And so he might have a little bit of oversight to it, but I don't think he's going to have a lot. That said, like I said earlier in this Q&A, I think that there's going to be expanded campaign, an expanded campaign experience that will get over the next 10 years. And if that's so, I think that Joseph Staten is going to be taking control of that aspect of it. And I can easily see us going back and fighting other major battles in the Covenant Human War and other side missions as well. I mean, again, Halo 3 ODST is a prime example here of a game that took place over the course of the original trilogy and that we didn't know about, but we found out about it after the events of Halo 3. So I think that we could be seeing something very similar to that under the direction of Joe State. Now, in terms of how big his impact is going to be, I hope it's a real one. I hope that he brings back the greatness of Halo because we need it right now. Halo 5 left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths there. Halo 4, I liked Halo 4 personally, but I know a lot of people who didn't. I think that it's one of those things where as each new Halo game comes out, we have fond memories of the previous ones and have a negative outlook on the current one, with the exception being Halo 3. I think Halo 3 definitely served out its, uh, its, its, its course uh, very gracefully. So, in terms of uh, Joe Staten returning, I, I cannot wait to see what his take is. I hope that doesn't mean that they're going to put a huge focus on the books this time because, let's face it, I want my main core Halo story to be in the games. I don't want to have to read if I don't have to. Don't get me wrong, the books are fantastic, Joe Staten's okay. books are fantastic, but I would really like to see the main plot of the story be just in the games and only touch on, you know, just have expanded lore for the books and stuff, stuff that you don't actually need to have basically knowledge that you don't need but you can have it if you want it and the, the story the main game story will still make sense because i think that's where 343 is really faltered on their halo ring is they they include too much stuff outside of the game so if you really want to know what's going on you have to read the books and the comics and to me that's just it it, it shouldn't be like that that's not what halo was ever supposed to be like and I hope that they don't go in that direction in the future. That said, again, I hope Joe Staten's return means that we're going to be seeing a lot of classic Halo. I hope it means that we're going to be seeing a lot more of the story evolve as, as the missions keep coming. I hope this means we get a return to a Covenant Human War setting. And I hope that he's going to nail it. I really have a lot of faith in Joe Staten. And I'd like to know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you looking forward to the most? Would you like to see Marty O'Donnell return on top of Joe Staten? Just to have our, our Titans return to the Halo universe. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below. Also, you can ask your questions for the next Q&A in the comments below. And I'd like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to sit down and watch this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful week. I'll catch you all right back here next time. And as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.